course, Mobile police still devoting a lot of resources to the investigation into Tuesday morning's murder of nine year old Kaylee Knight. The little girl's death, of course, having a huge impact on our for on our community. But for those who knew her, it was devastating. And while police focus on getting justice for her, her family and friends just trying to figure out how to cope, especially her friends at Leinkoff Elementary School, where she was a fourth grader. But they are getting help, and they're getting help from Rebecca Blalack, who's a therapist with Alta Point. And Rebecca, thanks so much for being with us because, uh, you know, so many people uh, never ever thought in their lives probably they would have to deal with something like this let alone talk to their children about it yes. now first up i know that alta point is involved with mobile county public schools yes. um, tell us how the children how the staff the faculty are doing in the wake of this horrible tragedy Honestly, the best that they can. We are very fortunate to have our collaborations with Mobile County Public School System, and um, in times like this, they you know trust us to come out and you know help in these situations. Mm -hmm. um, and it was tough yesterday. We spent all day yesterday with these kids, and as you can imagine, they're they're sad. They're yeah. confused. They don't know what's going on. They're like, why did this happen to our friend? You know, I mean, even kids that maybe didn't know her, they're hearing about it, and they're just like, why did this happen? And so we were honest with them. I was like, baby, I'm not sure why mm. this happened you know we don't understand why these things happen um, you know horrible things happen in the world and this is a horrible tragedy that happened to this sweet baby yeah. but just telling them you know we, we don't know why this happened but we are here to help we're feeling all the emotions too you know we're sad we're angry but it's okay to feel those things um, because it's normal you know I mean we don't know there's no sure. right or wrong way to sure. feel in this situation so we just try to love on them be there for them support them let them ask her their questions, let them cry. I told them, I said, if you need to cry, then we'll sit here and you can cry, do whatever you need to do. Just because there's so many emotions going on and none of us, it's affected our whole community. None yeah. of us know what to do. So we're just trying to be there for each other and be a support to them during this time. Was there time for one-on-ones with the children? Yes. Uh, and that's how you guys dealt with it? Yes, so yeah. we were able to take a team of therapists. And so if children came in and wanted to meet one-on-one, -on -one, we tried to do that. But you know, we had an influx at one point of a good bit of kids, like over about 20 kids come in because they were upset because the news was breaking about her and so mm -hmm. they came in there in tears and so we did separate like I said the ones who were really upset or who said you know yeah. I do want to speak separately do that but and then as me, a group as well I'm sorry. sorry tell me about some of the questions the children were asking why did this happen? Mm -hmm. You know, um, how did this happen? Uh, why are people so bad in this world to where they would do this to her? You know, she was such a sweet person. Why would mm -hmm. they do this? And so just trying to be honest with them and say, you know, we don't know, but you know, the police are working hard to make sure that this doesn't happen again. Yep. And just trying to reassure them that, that they are safe at school and in their homes too, and to talk to their families about it. Well, that is so key right there. Let them know that they're okay. Yes. You know, now Alta Point, I know works with Mobile County public schools, but uh, for the parents that are watching right now, how do you talk to your children about something like this? I mean, this is something that's absolutely foreign to many, many parents. This is something that we never want to have to talk yeah. to any children about, but unfortunately we do. And so I think the biggest thing is not to avoid it. It would be easy yeah. to try and brush it over, but they're going to hear about it. This is not going away. This is very, this is happening. This is very real right now. And so talk to them because we'd rather them hear about it from their parents. Mm. So when they ask their questions, be honest with them about sure. it. Let them ask their questions. Don't give them too many details, obviously. Make it age appropriate, but um, find out how they're feeling, you know, and let them share that and don't dismiss their feelings. Right. Let them ask it, you know, tell them the truth because their little imaginations can run wild too from the things sure. that they hear. So and, try to give them facts. And you know? just reassure, reassure, reassure. reassure. They're safe, they're okay. Mom and dad yes. are here. Yes, we are, we are making you safe and everyone's trying to do whatever they can to make sure this doesn't happen again. Rebecca Blaylack, good information. Thank you so much, Thank Rebecca so Blaylack, counselor with Alta Point. We appreciate you being here Thank as you so well. Much.